Welcome back, graduates. All right, so as you may have heard, October 22nd, Ecomify 3 has actually been officially released. And I just want to kind of go over some of the biggest changes that has been implemented for 3 uh, compared to the other ones. So as I'm uh, going into here, I go into my customizer right here and I'm on a large screen monitor. So when you're on a smaller screen monitor, you'll see that your uh, that you'll see that the right side bar is not going to be there and everything's going to be on the left side uh, but since i'm on a large screen i'm going to see my sections and my blocks on my left side and then my settings on my right so moving forward onto here we do have the the lookbook which uh, was a new feature in um, in three and this does work on all browsers as well the pinpoints uh, do work on safari and chrome and firefox and whatever other browser you may have as well uh, one of the other bigger changes that we have is our single product so we have adjusted the single product to allow for image uploads because before we did not allow that and we didn't have that so a single product uh, you would just go in select the product that you want and then you can also just like the product page assign and reorder the the uh, title price however you may uh, want for the single product as well and we have also personalization fields that do reflect so they can just simply go on the home page upload an image and then go to the uh, checkout and see the image there as well so we didn't have that before plus uh, we didn't have the option of the purchase options uh, reflected on the single product as well so when you go there you have the nice accordions here which are great and then the trust badges so everything's there and reflected on, on the single product and has the same logic on the product page as well another whole thing that we have is the image with text we have changed it up so that it acts like blocks so the image is first and then the text is second and if you want to change left or right alignment you just move uh, the blocks so that's left or right so it's it, so we don't have it where it is before on the uh, older versions or image left or image right you have to adjust the blocks here and and back and forth in this version also we just really want to push your customers to add to cart so we have an empty cart state as well so you'll see my cart is empty but they can just simply add into this as well notice when you do edit in your theme editor going to here i'm going to go into gray pink some of you guys have asked for this and and thought it was a bug um, it is actually not a bug when you are in the theme editor it does not switch but when you go and view this live it does switch over that's something with the theme editor and not and not us but it does switch over another thing that we have is uh, we have more options for the more styling and more options so we have judge me we have um product uh, shopify product reviews if you do have that if you are grandfathered in because shopify product reviews have now been discontinued if you still have it you still have it but moving forward uh people are going into luke's judge me we have styling for judge me now and we're going to um for the newer versions have for okendo and also smile as well we are listening to you guys and we do want to uh, release and uh, release new features in addition to uh, sections. Keep in mind when you go into on, onto the home page or any other page and you see add section, you can start scrolling down and see how many sections there are. We have about 38 sections right now. You do not have to use, remember you do not for a load have to use all these sections. We give you basically the, the tools to make a beautiful branded store, but just if you used all 68 sections on the homepage, which you won't even be allowed because Shopify limits you to 25 sections on a page anyway, um, it's gonna be load intensive. So what we're gonna do is what our plans are, are we're going to have more sections and we're going to enhance our styling of the pre-existing features as well. I know some people had asked for like styling for the uh, quantity breaks a bit more, um, the upsells, uh, cool features like that. So that's what we're gonna be aiming for as well for uh, the upcoming versions of the version three cycle. If you have any questions, we do have a change log um, that lets you know and make sure when you're on the documentation that at the bottom here Ecomify 3 because there are new uh, features and settings and uh, changes that occurred here so this is a change log for it we have all of these uh, new ones and then we also had uh, enhancements going into here one of the uh, cool things because Ecomify focuses on mobile first 
I go to mobile, you'll see that there is a partial slide here. And so you do have that uh, option as well. So if I go to the feature products and scrolling at the very bottom right here, show partial slide, or if you want to do one like this, but uh, for mobile, we, uh, we kind of liked how it kind of sneak peeked into the next one. So you do have that option when it's two. Um, now when it's three, it can still do that. If it's two or three going over, the one would be the best like this. And this only works on the uh, mobile when it's a slider. By that, it means that if it's a carousel slider, then it works. But if it's not um, a carousel right over here, enable carousel, it will not work for this. Uh, so I just want to give you a few points about that. You do have options uh, here. Another one really big change that we did for Ecomify is um, look at uh, look at the feature products here uh, section. And then if you go over here, this has uh, been changed so it, it works globally instead of having to go into each section um, as the younger versions. Um, so go into product card and I can have a default or a card style. So if I choose card style, it's going to be the one to upload a really cool card style. If you don't like the arrows here, you can choose hover over to the second image or you can have a static, which is pretty cool. Um, and static is just a simple image. Now, when you make this product card change, it affects all the product cards on your whole store. So you do not have to go into each section and change it out. Then you have, you know, the landscape option and also the portrait option as well. Now, I want you to guys keep in note that when you're making these thumbnails, please make sure that with this thing, you do have to make sure that they are the same aspect ratio as well. And then you can do no thumbnail or you can do a thumbnail as well. And now, the thing is, we do mention that this is not applied to the card style. So if you do card uh, and you want a thumbnail, it doesn't work. So let's do, for example, default. And now I'm going to do a thumbnail. And now it adds a thumbnail. But I, I personally like the card style. It gives it a lot more uh, full flexibility, things like that. And then you can show the sale badge and have the option as well uh, to choose right over here, sale. 20%, 56%, and you can choose your primary color um, or secondary, which is set in the theme settings up here. Um, then we also give you one of the biggest things we give you on every section now is the font and the description for mobile and desktop. So for desktop, you can make it really big. When as Shopify updates, you can make it really big or you can make it really small, depending on what you want. If you're looking for a bolder, you know, theme, uh, styling if not you can also truncate to one line so let's say for example I have it on the second line notice how everything was on the first line and dot 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 so that's truncating and then you can show the add to cart you can show the inventory form and uh, show wish list if you want so here's that um, and then you can also remove the pagination as well or the button but that's that's with the actual featured product section itself, but this works globally, the product card. So just go in. I'm really excited about this. We're really excited about this. There's a lot of cool uh, things that we enhanced uh, for you guys. Just check out our documentation and go into it. Um, please let us know and uh, contact us in the Discord or send us an email at ecomify at ecomgraduates.com if there is any bugs arise here. Uh, we are going to push and start with the uh, next version of 3.1 and we're thinking 3.1 or 3.01 depending on how you know things work uh, so let us know we're always open to suggestions as well thank you so much